All right, question 67 through 69. Let's read number 67. And I believe that the question 67 and 68 is referring to the table. The table below gives crime statistics relating to location of the crime and the type of crime. So you have robbery, murder, and assault, and you have residential and commercial areas. Find the probability that a randomly selected crime is committed in a residential area is a murder. I read that completely incorrect. Find the probability that a randomly selected crime committed in a residential area is murder. So Okay, so that question is oddly specific. Find the probability that a crime selected in a, res in a residential area is you committing a murder? This sounds like a kind of condition. So for number 67, I'm going to use the conditional probability formula. Now remember, the conditional probability formula says the probability of event B given event A equals to the number of outcomes that are in both B and A divided by the number of outcomes that are in A. In our case, we want to find the probability that the crime is a murder given that it happened in a residential area. And that makes sense because it says find the probability that a randomly selected crime committed in a residential area is murder. So this equals to the total number of crimes that are uh, that are murder and residential. Let me write that a little bit better and clearer. Divided by the number of crimes committed in a residential area. Let's, once again, rewrite this. So based on this table, let's add up the numbers. So that's going to be 130 plus 40 is 170 plus 30 is 200. This is going to be... 120 plus 20, 102 plus 28 is 130, plus 20 is 150. So there are a total of 200 crimes in a residential area. Because we're focusing specifically on, focusing specifically on residential. And out of the crimes committed in a residential area, we have 40 of those crimes being murders. So that's going to be 40 out of 200, which when you divide, that gives you one-fifth. A fifth of all crimes in a residential area is murder. Number 68. Find the probability that a randomly, a randomly selected crime was committed in a commercial area given that it was an assault. The key word is given. When we see the word given or something that applies to the word given, we can use the conditional probability formula. So it's going to be the probability of commercial. I'm use com for commercial. I don't want to write too much. Com for commercial. given assault equals to the number of crimes that happen number of crimes that are commercial and assault and that's going to be divided by the number of assaults So the condition is the crime must be an assault. 
here is assault. There are a total of 50 crimes that are considered to be an assault. And out of the 50 crimes that are considered to be an assault, 20 of those crimes happened in a commercial area. So the probability that a crime happened in a commercial area, given that we're focusing on assault specifically, is 20 out of 50. So that's 20 out of 50. And that reduces to the fraction of two-fifths. Two-fifths of assaults happen in commercial areas. Number 69. We have a different set of table, well, a different data table. It says, in a recent study, the following responses were obtained to the question, do you favor recycling in your neighborhood? So you have males and females. You have yes, no, and no opinion. If a response is picked at random, what is the probability that it came from a male or female that indicated no opinion when regarding recycling? So, basically, we want to find the probability that they had no opinion, whether if it's a male or a female. Male, no opinion, is 10. Female, no opinion, is also 10. So the no opinion category has a total of 20 voters. 20 voters out of how many voters in total? Let's see. 25 plus 15 plus 10, that equals to 50. 30 plus 10 plus 10, that is also 50. There are 100 voters in total. Out of 100 voters, either male or female, that indicated no opinion regarding cycling, that equals to 20. So that means the probability of no opinion is 20 out of 100, which can reduce to 2 tenths, which is reduced to 1 fifth. And that's it. Questions 67 and 68 are conditional probability questions because it gives you a condition that you must satisfy. And question 69 is just a basic probability question. So I think that's really it for using probability in this way. We'll see more probability questions when it comes to normal distribution, but we're almost 70% done with the review sheet. All right, guys, take care.